Today is a dupe video and we're gonna play a little game. <laughs> we're gonna play a game. It's not like Saw or anything like that. We're gonna play a game of use this, not that. And just because I say not that doesn't mean that the product does not work well, that I don't like it. It's just that I found an alternative that works just as good, if not better. Wanna play? Let's play. Okay. I'm a huge fan of the Laneige lip sleeping mask. I usually buy it whenever there's a Sephora sale. I love gummy bear. I'm gonna hood on my bottom lip. Try not to pucker. I like something that's nice and thick just to really moisturize my lips straight from the jump right in the morning time. And I have found that Fourth Ray Beauty does exactly that. It comes in a couple different flavors. I have strawberry. Um, I think they have a watermelon and I don't know what else, but it's nice and thick just like the Laneige and it does the same exact thing. It's found at Ulta and you get points. Could you tell that I have two different products on my lips? No, now I'm just gonna combine because why not? It feels the same. Wait, I said use this, not that. Okay, wait, how about we say use this, skip that. I like that because instead of saying not that, it's more negative because I do like these products that I'm showing you because obviously I have them. So how about we do use this, skip that. Yeah? Moving on to brows, use the L'Oreal Brow Stylus and skip on the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I love both products, but brows are one of those things where I'm like, oh, you should probably find a cheaper alternative because we go through brow products so often because that's something that most of us do every single day. So right now I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylus. So this side is going to be the more affordable side and this side is going to be the high end side. L'Oreal Brow Stylus is my total holy grail. Precisely my brow. I will say I really like the point on this. So I went ahead and cleaned up the brows. We got the L'Oreal on this side, the Benefit. Come on, what are you thinking? If, if anybody is looking at your brows or your makeup or anything that close, they need to back up because they should not be able to notice any differences, okay? Okay, moving on. Next up is a brow set, and I have a couple that I wanna show you, but again, I'm going to be doing a series, but here's the one I'm gonna show you today. So I would use the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt and also skip on the Benefit Gimme Brow. Both amazing products, but come on, you can't beat the price on these. This one is in deep brown. I really like this one because it's a more wet formula, and I'm someone where I kinda have more sparse eyebrows. They've been growing out. Growing out, okay. It just fills it in even more, so I really appreciate that without using fibers. But this one does have fibers, and it's more on the pricier side. It's also a good product. It's not as wet, but again, you can go through this so quick. What I really love about this Maybelline is that it almost sets the eyebrow like you just put hairspray, so even though it's wet, once it sets, that's where your brow's at. So for concealer, I would use the Revolution Conceal and Define. This is a full coverage concealer, and I would skip on the Tarte Shape Tape. What is so crazy about this is that I remember when this first launched, got a lot of popularity. It conveniently went to 20, and I remember when it hit 21, because this concealer was all the rage, and now I looked it up. Hold on, let me look it up, because I looked it up for another video, and my mind, was absolutely blown how much this has gone up. It is now $31, $31. I understand the products go up, but this started at $19 and it went up to 31. It'd be hard with the shades. I do have C10. I'm gonna place this over the eye and my under eye just to kind of knock out that area first. It is definitely a full coverage concealer. It's really nice and lightweight. I'm gonna add a little bit more to help with that coverage and let it sit. And now I'm just gonna place this. I will say the Tarte Shape Tape is more on the drying side. Revolution is a little bit more hydrating. I forgot primer. <gasps> it's okay, we're gonna go around the perimeter of the face. I would use the e.l.f. Putty Primer and skip on the Tatcha. The Tatcha is very pricey, but I will say there are benefits, there's skincare benefits. But again, the e.l.f. does a really good job. This is a newer putty, mine kind of dried out. Been my go-to drugstore. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of going into the concealer. Ignore anything, okay, I'll correct it. I got excited, okay, I got excited. This isn't necessarily tutorial anyhow, this is more more like, hey, use this, skip that, okay? Okay, now we're gonna go into the Tatcha. Tatcha is a little bit more on the thick side, 
and the e.l.f. is a little bit more thin in formula, but overall you can push the product and it pretty much looks exactly the same. Difference is honestly ingredients and benefits. I'm someone where I really love medium coverage and these two are honestly both my holy grail products for drugstore and also high end, but I would use the L'Oreal Paradise. This one is in medium one and I would skip on the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac, but definitely both amazing products. Water infused tinted moisturizer. So lightweight and perfect for everyday wear. Next up, we're going into the Hydro Maniac. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same consistency. Tinted Glow Hydrator, medium coverage, up to 24 hour wear. It's very lightweight. This one blends out really fast as well. Um, if anything, it might add just a little bit extra coverage. I think it's just the shade, honestly, that's different. The only difference is that the Urban Decay does have like true medium coverage, but with the L'Oreal, you can add in a little bit more. I'll show you. And you can get a little bit more coverage because I've used this for so long. So here is the L'Oreal side and here's Urban Decay side. Both holy grails. Went ahead and bronzed my face. Like I said, I'm making a series, so just be patient with me. I wanna make sure that I can actually make this a series and not show you 500 products for drugstore and 500 for high end. Now moving on to cheeks, I would use the CoverGirl Clean Fresh in Flushed 350 and skip on the Rare Beauty, what shade is this, Joy. Now these are both orange shades. You'll see them once they blend out. The CoverGirl really surprised me. The applicator is different, it is in a tube. Let me just do one at a time so you can see this one blend out. But I love how it's buildable and it gives you that beautiful flush. Rare Beauty, you guys already know, the one dot rule. Look at that, oh my gosh. See, this one's very pigmented. I might just add a little bit more of the CoverGirl. I just added a little bit more. But here's the Rare Beauty side, and here's the CoverGirl side. If anything, I'm actually preferring the CoverGirl side because it's more user-friendly. I feel like you're not gonna like ruin your whole entire makeup look. I feel like Rare Beauty kind of gets out of hand sometimes. You have to be so careful. Went ahead and added some wing liner. So for mascara, I would use the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof and skip on the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. It's so affordable, it lasts so well, and I will walk into an Ulta just for this, just to see if it's in stock, and I'll grab one if it's there. And 90% of the time, it is not. Uh, this Lights Camera Splashes used to be my holy grail, but after a while, it is just so damn hard to take off. I mean, it is mega waterproof. And then once I started using the Lash Princess, I never went back, but they pretty much both layer the same way. I hit those bottom lashes. If, you, if you're a fan of Oh my gosh, every creator's fear is for their sound to go out. And thank goodness I noticed towards the end because I was talking and I was looking and my monitor wasn't showing me that it was picking up any pitch. And I'm so happy it came at the end. So, so sorry if you see like this shadow and you see the lips and all that, but that's all you missed. I promise you the shadow, it's, it wasn't even a dupe. It's, I just said I added it because I looked naked. So good thing I still have the lip product. <laughs> Woo, wow. Okay, so I would, so now let's go on to lips just so we can close this out. I would use the Lifter Gloss in Pearl and skip on the Fenty Gloss in Diamond Milk. As you can see, they both are a pearl with reflex. And I used the Maybelline on the left side and the Fenty on the right side. I'll probably show a clip or whatever because yeah, whoo, I am so glad I caught that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just like, <gasps> you know, it's almost like think of it as like you write your report or whatever, or you have something due to your boss and you have your whole, everything on your laptop and all of a sudden it just wipes out. That's what it feels like. This is the affordable side and here is the high end side. What do you guys think? Drugstore, affordable, high end, they look exactly the same. And like I said, if someone is looking at your makeup that hard where they're like, that mascara looks different than this side of your mascara, no, ain't no way. That means that they're not your friend if they're looking that hard. But overall, what do you guys think? I'm sure some of you are saying, why didn't you show this? Why didn't you show that? I honestly don't wanna overwhelm you with like 500 products in a video. And my whole thinking was, I wanna get the shades Right, because if you like a certain shade, 
then why wouldn't I want to match that? Because it's so easy to say, oh, this formula is so similar to this formula and that's it, right? Uh, but I want to like get shades and all of that and how the mascara wands work equally because uh, you can say, oh, this one's waterproof, but this one's just as waterproof, but then the wand might be different. So I have so many more products to show you and I'm as more drugstore products get released and as more high-end I got a frog in my throat as more. It's probably because I'm still like, oh my gosh, I, I saved the video. I'm so happy. And I'm, I'm sure as more high-end products get released, there's going to be so many more to show you. Leave me some love down below just because I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm like so out of it. So leave some love down below saying that you're excited for the series and what you look forward to. Um, and I will see you in my next video. And I'm so glad this one wasn't a flop for part one. <laughs> All right. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Woo! <laughs>